Hi, I'm Meg. Welcome to Plant Fit Meg. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I hope you'll take a look around at some other videos while you're here. I make videos about healthy weight loss, simple plant-based recipes, and living a healthy lifestyle. In today's video, I'm sharing another what I eat in a day video. And you guys seem to really enjoy these. And so as long as you enjoy them and keep watching them, I will continue to put them out. I like to keep my plant-based diet simple, easy, as quick as possible, get in, get out, get the nutrition into my body, enjoy it, and then move on with my day. I'll be sharing my banana oat pancake recipe, which I absolutely love. We usually love to make it on the weekends, and sometimes we have leftovers for later in the week. So I'll be sharing that recipe. I'll also be sharing a bit of a mishmash meal with just a few ingredients for lunch, just something really simple to just throw together. Of course, you can always jazz it up however you'd like if you are following any of my recipes, but it's a potato, spinach, gravy, lentil kind of mishmash meal. And then for dinner, I'll be sharing my crispy, spicy baked tofu. It's kind of a shake and bake recipe, so it's really fun to make and really delicious. I'll also share my apple oat cookie recipe, which is super yummy, super healthful. It's a very healthy, wholesome cookie. You could even eat it for breakfast. So I hope you really enjoy this video. If you like what I eat in a day videos, and if you like this video in particular, please remember to give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel below if you haven't already, and leave me a comment letting me know what kind of recipes you're into lately. We're coming into a new season. It's fall, coming into fall season, autumn here in Canada. So let me know what kind of recipes you're getting into now that the weather is changing. And with all that out of the way, let's just jump right into the video. I like to start my day with vegetables. I find that it just makes me feel really good, really energetic. It's a little added boost of nutrition that I normally wouldn't get at breakfast time. Of course, you can skip the broccoli if you're not into eating veggies for breakfast, but I really enjoy it, so that's what I do. I'm gonna go ahead and add my barbecue sauce to my broccoli. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of everything bagel seasoning over the top. We made our banana oat pancakes on the weekend and we did have a few leftovers. So that's what I'm eating today, but I thought I would just show you how we put them together really easily on the weekend. So we use our Cuisinart Griddler. We love this thing. It's non-stick. You don't have to use oil on it. We set it to 375 on the griddle setting. Let it warm up. When the light turns green, it's ready to go. I'm putting the egg replacer together here. So just adding egg replacer and water according to the package instructions. You can also substitute flax seed if you prefer. Putting four bananas in the food processor along with four cups of oats adding the egg replacer, adding baking powder, vanilla, plant milk, water, and cinnamon. And we're gonna go ahead and blend this up. As you can see, Chris is helping me out here. And blend it again if you'd like it to be a little bit finer. You can also add a more liquid to this to make it the batter a bit runnier. We like to have them a little bit puffy and a little bit more dense. So that is completely up to you, up to your own preference. And you just flip them when they're golden brown on one side. And it's as easy as that. They do take a little bit of time, but it's a very simple recipe to put together. And it makes quite a few pancakes. So we often do have leftover for the next day or next couple of days. All right, I'm really excited to dig into this breakfast. I have my big bowl of broccoli here and also my leftover pancakes from the weekend. And so I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. I know this is gonna be so yummy. Mmm, yum. 
pancake and berries. Mm. Really, really good. So the broccoli, super simple. Steamed it up in the microwave, added my homemade barbecue sauce that I had prepped and ready to go. Leftover pancakes with a few berries and a bit of maple syrup. Super duper simple. Nice way to start the day. I also have my big glass of water here that I always like to show and share with you guys because drinking water is so important. It's important to stay hydrated, especially I'm going to the gym today, so I want to make sure I'm fueled up and hydrated and ready to go. So I'll be back in a little while for snack time or lunch time. See you in a bit. All right, I just got back from the gym. I've been sipping on some water and I'm going to cook up some red lentils really quick. I have some leftover potatoes and I'm gonna chop up some spinach, throw it all together with some gravy. It's gonna be delicious and super simple. So I've measured out one cup of red lentils and gave it a good rinse. And now it's in the pot on the stove top on high heat with three cups of water. I'm gonna let that come to a boil. I'll just cover it up here up a little quicker and I'll allow that to come up to a boil, reduce the heat, give it a little stir and let it cook for about 10 minutes or so just until they're soft and nice, <laughs> nicely cooked. So it'll be nice and quick and I'll be able to throw it together with my potatoes that are pre-cooked and some chopped spinach. And I can't forget my yummy gravy. Coming up to a boil here, so I'm just going to give it a little stir and reduce the heat. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put together my gravy. Super simple, just a few pantry ingredients, really easy to put together. So I'm starting off with some water. I'm just gonna let that come to a boil, reduce the heat, add my dry ingredients and some miso, and it'll be good to go. You can also use tamari or soy sauce in place of the miso if you don't have miso on hand. I know sometimes it can be hard to find. I've turned down the heat to medium low and I'm adding in my spices, flour and nooch. I'll have the recipe linked below so you can check that out if you're interested. Just adding a little bit at a time, giving it a whisk. So I'll just continue to whisk that up until it gets a little bit thicker. And it'll just take another couple minutes to thicken up. And I'll just add in my miso at the end here for some saltiness. All right, I am keeping this super duper simple by just adding a few handfuls of baby spinach. I could chop it up and make it look fancier, but I'm just going for what I would usually do. I'm trying to show you what I would normally make and not try to jazz it up too much. Of course, you can do what you'd like if you're making this for yourself at home, but I just wanna keep it real with you guys and show you how I sort of throw things together. So there's my spinach. I've chopped up a few potatoes, so I'm gonna go ahead and add those to my plate as well. Add my scoop of lentils. And I'll go ahead and add some gravy over the top. So it might not be the most beautiful meal, but I know it's gonna taste absolutely delicious. And if I want more afterwards, I'll eat more and it's gonna be super duper yummy. I love this kind of just simple meal that I can throw together with ease and really thoroughly enjoy.
All right, I thought I would come eat outside. I don't think I'll have that many more opportunities to film outside, so I thought it'd be nice to sit out and enjoy my lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a little taste test. I know it's gonna be good. <laughs> Mm hmm really good really yummy the gravy makes it really warm and comforting and then the spinach is really green and crisp and I like that contrast it's really nice this meal can be made in a variety of different ways if you wanted to try it for yourself like I mentioned before you can chop up the spinach really finely you could even cook the spinach a little bit maybe with some onion and mushroom and that would be really good too. So there are so many ways to enjoy. Unfortunately, I had a little technical glitch and the video cut off here, but what I was saying was there are so many ways to enjoy a plant-based diet and make it your own and make it as simple or as complex as you like. And I just encourage you to explore, try different things, play around with it, have fun and do what works for you. I should also add that if any of my recipes look unappealing to you, that's okay. They're just ideas. They can be a starting point that might inspire you to do something else, or it just might not be for you, and that's okay. I also want to share that I do take supplements daily. I take vitamin D B12 and vitamin D, and I do try to mention that in every video. Sometimes I forget and then end up just putting it in the description box. So I'm actually going to do my sprays on camera, this is my D3. And my B12. Good to go. All right, so I'm getting some work done and wanted a little mid-afternoon snack. So I'm having a banana and I'm drinking more water. And I also have a coffee here. So I think it'll be a little too hot still for me to take a sip, give it a go, but yeah, it's too hot for me to take a sip. So, but I do have a black coffee here and a banana that I'm going to enjoy. And then I will be back for dinner time. All right, I already have some chopped tofu here and I'm going to go ahead and add some cornstarch and nooch to my container. You could also put this in a bowl and mix it up. I'm going to use the shake and bake method tonight. So I go ahead and put the lid on and then give it a shake. fun to do. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to pop the lid off Ta -da! and add my hot sauce. You could use other sauces as well if you don't enjoy hot sauce. I find it doesn't make it super spicy anyway, but you can use any sauce you like. All right, so I'll just pop the lid on again. secure. <laughs> Give it another shake. And there we go. It's ready for the lined baking sheet. I recommend using either a silicone baking mat or parchment paper so that it doesn't stick to your baking sheet. So I'll just go ahead and spread the pieces apart. And then it'll be ready to be popped in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes and then flip and bake another 10 to 15. And I'll show you what the tofu looks like when it's all done. So in the last few minutes of cooking the tofu, I'm going to prep some veggies, this garden blend with beans and carrots. I also have some leftover quinoa here. And I'm also going to prepare some cauliflower rice as well. 
and that will make for a really lovely, yummy dinner. All right, it's dinner time. I'm so excited to dig into this spicy, crispy tofu with quinoa, rice, cauliflower, beans, carrots, all the good stuff. Can you hear that crisp? Mmm. Super yummy. So I'm going to go ahead and finish digging into this. I'm very excited to finish this plate. And, oh. he, and here's my plate. And Riordan wants to show his plate. Oh, try not to spill. Oh. So I'll be back a little bit later for dessert. I think I'm going to have some cookies for dessert, so I will show you that. And I'll probably have a cup of tea as well. So stay tuned. I'll be back in a bit. I decided to make our one bowl apple cookies. This recipe is so simple. You just dump all the ingredients in one bowl, mix it up, plop it on your baking sheet, good to go. So to a large bowl, I'm adding rolled oats, chopped apple, ground flaxseed, cinnamon, applesauce, molasses, and vanilla. I'm just gonna give that a good mix. Make sure that it is mixed thoroughly. It won't turn into a doughy style cookie batter the way that a traditional cookie comes out because it's literally oats and applesauce and apples. It's super healthy. It's like a breakfast cookie kind of thing. So it's still super delicious and sweet, but sweetened a bit more naturally with applesauce and the molasses. So once it's all well mixed, I'll scoop it out onto my baking sheet here that's lined with a silicone baking liner. And so I go ahead and bake those at 350 for about 20 minutes or until golden brown on the bottom. All right, it's the end of the night. I have my big giant cookie with me and my chai tea and Chris and I are just going to hang out, watch a little bit of TV, relax, wind down. I'm currently reading The Plant-Based Athlete by Robert Cheek and Matt Frazier and I'm really enjoying that. So that'll be my bedtime reading for the night. Let me know if you guys are reading anything interesting in the comments section below. I'm always really interested to find new reads, whether it's nonfiction or fiction or anything. So I'm going to dig into my cookie here. Made them extra big as per Riordan's request. Mm. I haven't made those in a while. We tend to make them in the fall and they're really yummy. Super wholesome and nutritious too. So if you wanted to have breakfast cookies, you could go ahead and have breakfast cookies. <laughs> They're delicious and nutritious as well. So that's it for this What I Eat in a Day video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it and found it helpful. Maybe got some ideas for different recipes or meal ideas. Let me know if you have any suggestions for other types of videos you'd like to see on the channel or if you'd like to see more what I eat in a days or weight loss content let me know in the comments section below I'm open to suggestions and I'd love to hear from you thank you so much for watching as always I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon bye